Welcome to this video on using reflection in home visiting. Reflection is a way of showing that you are listening and that you want to partner with your patient to help them. It's simply stating back what you heard from the patient. You can literally just repeat what they said word for word or you can change it slightly. The baby was up all night and I'm exhausted. So the baby was up all night and you're really tired. It's okay to reword it to make it sound more natural. The baby was up all night and I'm exhausted. Baby's not sleeping through the night and she's really wearing you out. Sometimes when people are still learning how to use reflection, they rely on some standard phrases to help them rephrase things. Some examples are, it sounds like what you're saying is, or so what you're telling me is. The baby was up all night and I'm exhausted. So what you're saying is you've had a rough night. There's no wrong way to reflect, but the important point is that once you've reflected, you are silent, inviting the patient to say more. In motivational interviewing, they call that continuing the paragraph. The baby was up all night and I'm exhausted. Sounds like you're, you've really had a rough night. Let me tell you what you need to do to help the baby start sleeping. By offering advice at that moment, she was cutting off the patient from saying more. Let's hear that conversation again, but with more reflection this time. The baby was up all night and I'm exhausted. So what you're saying is you've had a rough night. Yes, she was up every three hours to eat. I don't understand it. So she needed to eat every three hours last night and that was really frustrating for you. Yes, my mom told me that I started sleeping through the night when I was a month old. Lily is six weeks. Mm. So based on what your mom told you, you were expecting Lily at this point to be sleeping through the night. Well, what is normal for a baby this age? She has asked for your opinion, so now it's okay to share educational information. Try reflection with your friends and family. You don't have to start with patients. Next time your teenager comes home and says, that math test sucked, instead of saying, I told you you should have studied, say, that test was hard today. When your fast comes home and says, today was terrible, say, you had a rough day. See what happens. Next video will address open-ended questions. Please leave comments or questions in the comment section below and thanks for watching.